Hey guys, Shane Starnes with GerardMotorX.com. Today I've got some pretty exciting news for you guys. Many of you have been asking me about how to Wi-Fi tether on the Verizon Galaxy S5. And so far there's really been no luck because none of the Wi-Fi tether apps have worked. And also there's no root on the device so we can't do any system modifications to eliminate the check from Verizon. If you're on Unlimited, uh, then it requires a tether package that's you know $30 a month. Today, Fox 5 released an update to their application, which makes all Samsung devices from Verizon on KitKat or lesser builds compatible with their application. So now you'll be able to tether on the Verizon Galaxy S5, S4, S3, and also the Note 3 and Note 2. So real quickly, the way this works is it enables a VPN. And so you'll have to give it permission to set up a VPN which means it's able to monitor ingoing and outgoing traffic so that can be kind of iffy uh, if you've used Fox Fi in the past um, then you know I, I trust them whether or not you trust them that's up to you apparently that's kind of the trick as, as to how they get it to work so what you'll do is you'll go to the Play Store and just make sure that you do update the application you'll open up Fox Fi when you go to activate it it's going to ask you to enable the VPN, you'll set that up uh, and then it'll give you this screen. It says go to settings and enable the hotspot within 30 seconds. So you'll go into your settings, you can go ahead and turn on the hotspot or you can go into settings and configure it uh, so that you can have your own password. This is where you'll enter in your password for your hotspot. We'll go ahead and turn that on. So now my hotspot is activated. Uh, we'll go to the computer. And we'll go ahead and connect to this Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, so we're looking for the Verizon SM uh, G900V. This is what we're looking for here, and we'll enter in whatever the password is. I already entered in my password, so it is connected automatically. Uh, you saw that it connected here on the phone, and then it also connected on the screen. Okay, so from here we can go and open up the browser. And we'll go to speedtest.net. Okay, we'll begin the test. You can see down here that I am on Verizon Wireless. Okay, so the test may go a little slow uh, because I am on the bottom level of my house. And so I don't always get the best speeds down here, but you guys get the picture. Wi-Fi Tether is now working on the Verizon Galaxy S5. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.